here is where we left off on our last video oops what's happening ah okay we had we had we had the small error on our last video um but to solve this issue we are going to do this uh, value which is going to be a bool which is going to check if that that particular check checkbox was checked or not then we are going to call uh, which method is this change selected size and here we are going to take a value and we are going to take a string as well called size or size name or size but anyways the size is just the, 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 the name of the size if it's small medium large or anything and uh, in here we'll just do this value and if this value is true meaning that this field is selected and this size is present inside of the selected sizes list we are going to remove the size and if the value is false we are going to add but well, probably I will I will need to do something like set state here Okay, perfect. Now let's go back here, and here we're going to return change. What's the name of our method? Change selected size value. And this method is going to take the value and a string which is the size name we are going to give for this case going to be this okay let's run our app so what we're doing here first we're checking we have this selected sizes which is a list that contain all of the sizes that were selected and first we're going to check if the selected sizes list contain the XS size and if it does this is going to be true so the checkbox will be selected if it doesn't it's going to be false so the checkbox won't be selected but if we click on it if the if this va value is false meaning that this size is not included into this we are going to add and if it's included we're going to remove that's that's the basic logic of it let's see how it works okay 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 sizes contains this and that's false and when I oops, oops, oops. somehow our logic was not working perfectly okay let's let's just write insert into index zero our size okay let's go back up here 
then we are just going to check if selected sizes contain x s but it doesn't contain so it's going to be false at the beginning unchanged value perfect and then we're going to pass here the value in xs which is the field okay let's run this again and see why why our logic is not working perfectly A small problem here. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to go back here to our function. This is kind of redundant because we are doing the same thing twice, but since it's giving a small problem, let's. So we'll just right here selected sizes and we'll check if they contain size if it contains size we're going to remove if it doesn't we're going to insert okay let's see what's happening Okay, it's working. Now the size is inserted. I don't know why it didn't work with the value, but okay, we will go like this. No problem. It's not an issue. So let's do this for the rest of them. And for example, let me, when I click on this again, it will be unselected. Now, we remove this particular size from the selected sizes list. When I hit, I insert this to the sizes list. And when I hit again, I deselect it. Okay? Perfect. Now let's do this for the rest of them. And then we're going to add images. And uh, if you think that this is too much, feel free to just stop the video, check the link, check the code to understand what's happening. Okay, now we're going to do this for all of this code here. So what I'm going to do here is I'll copy this checkbox and I'll just paste it everywhere. And here the size is going to be S because we're dealing with the small size. And here the size is going to be M caps. And here the size is going to be L. So you just have to do this process for all of the available sizes. So it's a bit of a hassle but seems like we don't have a lot of options. So you can just speed this process up on your if you don't want to see me doing this all over again or over and over again. You can just do that but if you want you can stay here together size 28 hmm. size 30 
size 32 size 34 size 36 and I know this is boring guys so you can just skip this part but since I'm not going to edit this video I just keep it like that size 38 Hmm, and I'm tired now. Okay, but let me do everything. Let's let's finish what we started. Size forty. Let's finish what we started. Size forty two. Size 44. We're almost there, guys. Size 46. Size 48. And finally we have size 50. Okay. It took us forever but it's done. Let's check all of this work. What has it have done for us? You see, now you can just pick the available sizes, and the, the picked sizes are going to be the available sizes for that particular product. You see how amazing it is! Super good, isn't it? So you can choose the product name, the gift, blah blah blah. The category, you just pick here. Formal, the brand, spicy, and we have we have an issue there on the brand. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to check that. We're going to give a look into that. But okay, uh, before we go and solve that small problem that I believe that's something to do with the structure of it, let us let us let us add add some pictures here. Okay. Uh, so finally, finally, we've been waiting for this since forever, and now finally we're going to add some images. Don't worry about that issue. We're going to come back to it and solve it. Okay. Perfect. Let me just put everything on set ready. Okay. Perfect. Now let's make this quick, 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 quick. And I'm not really liking to see 
these over here. Okay, don't worry. We will worry about these guys. Now we want to use. Uh, we want to import. Okay, it has to be. We have the image provider or image picker. Okay, we have it. Fine. Now, what are we going to do here is file image. We're going to call this file image one. And now uh, then we need the file image two and finally find file image three. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go to this and uh, on press. Select image. Perfect. And then we would need to create here um, image picker is what we want. Image. Image picker. Dot pick image source. Image source dot gallery. Okay. Let's create this. Then will be equal to We'll do a wait. Oops. This is going to be a synchronous method. And here, instead of file image, let's just give it file. And here, you can just give image one image two image three perfect and then in here we'll write image one await pick image Okay, let's try this. Um, manage add product. And then what we have to do here is just allow our shop app to use our gallery to access our gallery but okay we are going to come back into that it's working let just make sure we want to make sure that for all of the images this is going to work 
so this is for the select image mm. let's do something where did we call that method is here select image here and uh, here I'm going to give one just to show that it's the first image don't worry about the error we're going to fix that and here we're going to give two just to make sure that we're selecting the second image image and finally we're going to give three and now let's go back here and we will take the pick image and int image number and now we're going to use a switch image number so switch works as it was an if else statement so case one so if the image number is one meaning that it's the first image this is what we want this is what we want to do um matter of fact let's do something else i'll create a temporary image file here file temp e m g is going to be equal to this and now in here we're going to do set state and we will write the emg1 is equal to temp image okay and um, of course after this we need to write a break and let's copy this one time two times and we are going to say if the image is image 2 what we want to define equal to the temporary image now is not the image 1 but is the image 2 and finally here the image 3 perfect and now let's go back to let's go back to our images here for the child this is what we want uh, I'll write here display display child this is going to return I can write display child one for example and this is going to return a widget and just now you will understand why are we doing the display child one of course this method will return a widget and in here you are going to say if emg1 is null we will return this else we will return so if the image is not selected 
we are just going to return that plus icon and if the image is selected in here we will want to return image file image one okay uh, let's try this before we implement to all of the code and it seems like we have oh we have an error here okay okay I had to close the app and I'll run it again in the meantime we'll create two methods just like this and here we're going to call it display child 2 and finally we're going to call this display child 3 and for display child 2 we're going to test with image 2 if image 2 now show text and display child tree again we're going to do this with the child tree so what are we doing here guys we're just saying uh, first check if this image is null or if we didn't select any image from the gallery display this icon but if the image is selected display the image let's see in the code what's going to happen hello we have these images from the gallery let me select this one you see here we have the image displaying but it's not quite what we want not quite what we want uh -huh. and I can sense that we have a small issue here I can sense that I can sense that because this image changed on the wrong location this did nothing but this changed for the image too why is that let us go back here and understand the code and I know guys that there's a lot going on here in this particular video but just stick with me here oh okay because I call this method on the wrong location. This was supposed to be in here. Thank you. And uh, I'll just take the opportunity and. Display child 2 and finally we want to display child 3. What did we do wrong? Ah, okay, 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 okay. We want to copy this from here. Perfect.
Now let's go back here to the code and I will I will remove this padding and just get the image and I'll do the same thing here we will remove the padding and fit box fit fill and width we are going to do double dot infinity let's rerun the code and see what happens again okay This image is a too small. I think that's the issue. Like the selected images are way, way too small. But okay, we are, we are going to, take, to test these proper images afterwards. Now we are just doing what we have to do. And uh, let's come here. Image two. And finally, we are going to do the same thing for the image three. Okay, now how are we going to make sure this thing in here works? Okay, if you pay close close attention, let's 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 upload the images to the database. Please, something. Okay, let's test. Oops, oops, oops. Make sure our code is well organized. Okay. Now we're going to call a method called validate and upload this method is going to do what it's saying here we're going to validate everything and if everything is fine it's going to upload the images to our database okay but let's check what's happening with the app now uh, now we have this and if we click on this select this image Select the second image. Okay, so the third one is not selecting. Hmm. Let's see what's happening for our third image. Image. What is happening? Image gallery two, image gallery three.
child select three other than that what do we have here um, let's check this number so now else okay select image ah, okay here's the issue here we have to put case tree done okay well. now if form key dot current state dot validate so if the form is valid we are going to do couple stuff here uh, first let's see let's see what we must have uh, for the quantity uh, for the quantity field here we are using the wrong controller so here we have to use the quantity controller it doesn't exist yet so we will come up here we will create a text editing controller We're going to call it quantity controller is equal to text editing controller. Perfect. So according to our UI, first thing that we want to validate is that none of the Im we must have all of the three images. If image one not now and image 2 not now and oops, and image 3 not now this is the first validation all of the images must be provided done else you um, have a toast here flutter toast But I guess we have this this library imported there. Type ahead, we don't need it now. Let's import Flutter Toast. So else Flutter toast dot show toast and the message is all the images must be provided. This will be the toast. Okay, the second validation that we want here is that mm, the quantity and the product name must be given, that's true. And current category are perfect. And the final thing we're going to make sure here is if selected sizes 
is empty so if the selected sizes is not empty then we can do something else if the user or the admin didn't select any size we have we're going to have flutter toast dot show message and the toast is select at least font size okay now or well, once all of this is given if the all the images are done and the selected size and everything what are we going to do now now we are going to do the following um, I'm thinking if I create a different file for this or I just insert from here okay 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 no problem we can just insert them from here let's create a string we are going to call this string image image url okay now uh, I need to create the final and this final is going to be firebase user Okay, if I use Firebase user, current user, this would help us creating our, no, because the, the admin doesn't do a login, so there's no point of finding the Firebase user. Okay, uh, final, string. picture okay I can give that name so this is just going to provide a different picture name or name of the image inside of the database so we are going to give we are basically creating ID for this image just give date date time dot now which is going to take okay this is just going to provide the current time in milliseconds and we want all of these to be converted to string and then dot jp So this is going to be this this will provide the different name for each image we upload to the database okay um, but we have that the to create if you want to create a different name you can just use UID as well okay and then uh, after we have created a new image name we have your storage upload task We have to import the library to upload the images. Okay, we are going to call this task. And um, 
we are going to create storage being our firebase storage dot one second is it capital or what storage dot no it's not it's not capital storage dot ref okay so this is we are just trying to provide the reference to our database storage 